In a small village nestled in a lush green forest, there lived a sweet young girl named Rosalia. She was affectionately known as Little Red Riding Hood because she adored wearing her vibrant red hooded cloak, a gift from her dear grandmother. One beautiful morning, Rosalia's loving grandmother fell ill and requested a basket of fresh fruits and homemade goodies. With love in her heart, Rosalia eagerly volunteered to bring the basket to her grandmother's cottage, which was deep in the forest. As Rosalia skipped along the forest path, appreciating the vibrant colors of blooming flowers and melodious songs of the birds, she had no idea that she was being followed. It was a wily wolf named Wilbur, who happened to notice her lovely red cloak and delicious smelling basket. His cunning plan was to reach the cottage before Rosalia and deceive the poor grandmother. Entering the cottage, the wolf disguised his voice to imitate Rosalia, huffing and puffing as he pretended to be weary. Grandmother, it's me, Rosalia, he called out, hoping to deceive the ailing woman. Although grandmother's eyes were weak, her ears were sharp. As she listened intently, a verse from the Bible came to mind, which she had shared with Rosalia many times. My child, be discerning and test every spirit, for many false prophets have gone into the world. With this wisdom, Grandmother realized something was amiss. Is that really you, Rosalia? She asked cautiously. The wolf hesitated, taken aback by her suspicion, but quickly recovered. Yes, dear Grandmother, it's me. I just caught a terrible cold, and my voice sounds different, he replied, his deep voice still managing to sound somewhat girlish. Grandmother, wise as she was, remembered another biblical verse. By their fruits, you will know them. Gathering her strength, she advised the wolf, before we meet, Please fetch some fresh fruits from the village market. Bring fruits that are ripe and full of life, for they nourish the body and soul. Plan foiled, the wolf reluctantly agreed and hurriedly left the cottage. Meanwhile, brave Rosalia had noticed the wolf's lurking presence and decided to take a shortcut through the forest to reach her grandmother's house faster. As Rosalia neared the cottage, she pondered her grandmother's teachings about discernment and the meaning of true fruits. With newfound courage, she decided to put her own twist on the traditional tale by outsmarting the wolf. Peering through a window, she saw the wolf approaching with a basket filled with beautiful ripe fruits and an unconvincing smile. Rosalia, thinking on her feet, concocted a plan. She swiftly gathered flowers from the surrounding meadow and formed them into a bouquet, knowing her grandmother would appreciate such a heartfelt gift. Entering the cottage through the back door, Rosalia was met with grandmother's eyes filled with both joy and relief. Oh, my dear Rosalia, you've come just in time. That wolf tried to deceive me, but I recognized his true nature. Together, Rosalia and her grandmother put their plan into motion. They beautifully arranged the fresh fruits that Rosalia had brought, symbolizing both nourishment and discerning judgment. This, they believed, would teach the wolf a valuable lesson. As the wolf returned, he immediately noticed the colorful bouquet of flowers on the table, perplexed yet intrigued. Goodness, where did these flowers come from? He thought, scratching his head in confusion. Grandmother and Rosalia greeted him warmly and invited him to share a meal. As they savored the bounty of fruits, Grandmother began to share biblical teachings about wisdom, discernment, and true fruits of the spirit. My dear wolf, she kindly admonished, disguise often conceals the heart's true intentions, but by their fruits, you shall know them. As the wolf listened, his heart nudged by Rosalia's ingenuity and grandmother's wisdom, he had a change of heart. Tears filled his eyes as he confessed his folly and begged for forgiveness. Moved by the wolf's sincerity, Rosalia and her grandmother embraced him, accepting his apology. The wolf pledged to make amends by using his cunning to protect the forest rather than intimidate its inhabitants. From that day forward, the village experienced a newfound harmony, offering love and forgiveness to all they encountered. Reminding generations of the transformative power of wisdom, discernment, and the redemptive nature of true fruits.